Hey, hi, hello, and howdy. It's me, Mushy, and you're you. Hello, you. Sorry, more Joe, more Joe Goldberg from you on Netflix, binging it. I can't help it. It's a thing now. Uh, I'm Mushy, and you're you, and we're here at Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting for a ruler talk. Let's talk about rulers. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Um, sorry it took me so long to get to this video. I have just been between the weather and being under the weather and having lots of exciting things going on in real life and in the diamond painting world. It took me a minute, but here we are. I promised and I'm about to deliver. So I guess we're going to start. Um, this is going to be our little exemplar uh, that we're going to check out, but I'm going to start by showing you guys. Let me zoom out just a, a smidgy poo or a lottie poo. There we go. Um, I'm going to show you guys the different kinds and styles of rulers. Hopefully you can see this. So we've got this one I think is like, I don't remember. I'm not counting the numbers either, but I think they said it was like a 540 um, round drill ruler. Uh, this one is somewhere in the hundreds, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I'm looking on here to see if it says, but it's a bunch of Chinese characters, so I'm not sure. But they've got like these thin flat, or these thin, these thick flat ones, these thin long ones. Um, this is my new love, also for rounds. And this is the one that uh, emulates like uh, the, almost a little bit like the, what is that called? Not chessboard, checkerboard pattern. Um, this is the next round one I have. Just want to kind of show you guys all that is available that at least that I have found. There could be more styles of rulers out there. Oh, sorry about the pups. But, uh, if there are, I have not found them yet. So this is just kind of all I have. These are all the same um, ruler. I'm just stacking them there. I have stocked up on these bad boys, um, this style in particular, because that is my favorite. And then another round ruler here. I should probably be more organized, shouldn't I? Yeah. Let's put these to where you can kind of get a better visual, put the special ones over here. And uh, yet another round ruler. And we'll talk about the differences and stuff here in a minute. I just want you to get like an eyeful of what is available. Now, these are all rulers. You can't see that very well. These are all rulers for the round drills. Can you see? Yeah. Uh, and then they have rulers for square drills. Much akin to these. Uh, I've got two of those. Those, These are the, the square rulers right here. So I know I said that these are rounds and obviously this one, you know, you have to use rounds. These really are good for rounds or squares. I've used them on both. So in the most technical sense, in my opinion, this is exclusively round. These two are exclusively square drill, and these can be used for either or. Um, so now that we kind of got that out of the way, uh, I guess I'll just start with this first one, and I'm going to show them to you and talk to you about them and the pros and cons of them. And then I will flip ghost face stitch over and show you kind of how to use one. So this first ruler, um, I think all of them I actually got on Timu, just so you know, and I will leave uh, links in the description below. But this first ruler here is like the biggest one. And I got really excited when I saw this because I'm like a bigger section. Yay! Because some of these other ones are thinner and longer or just thinner and shorter and you can only do so big of a section with them and so I was like oh you know yay but what I noticed with these rulers is is the bigger they are especially with these round ones that are 
really use for round or square, but I call it a round one, but you can use it for both. But like this one, you can probably see in the light if it catches it right. It's bent. It's warped. They rip a little bit. Um, these are really chintzy and flimsy. These bigger ones, not these smaller, um, like short, long ones. These are much better, thicker, more durable. But if you're going to get some of these bigger, um, like bigger rectangular, fatter ones, you might want to get, I would, I would say get a handful or so because they will warp and bend and become less and less useful as you use them. This one in particular is a 140.5 millimeter and we'll talk about the importance of that when we flip ghost face over. But um, yeah, this is, this is one style. I, I don't really recommend this unless you're cool with buying a bunch of these often. I would just buy them in bulk. Um, I prefer to use that one because I like doing bigger sections when I diamond paint. But guys, it's so flimsy. I'm constantly, I was constantly buying new ones. So then next we have this one. So maybe you can see, like, I'm going to wiggle these. You see how this one kind of, this fat one kind of wiggles more. This one's more sturdy. Um, it's the same principle, you know, it, it you just put your drills in here and this is just longer and thinner so you do your sections more in strips than in chunks like that and um i'm not seeing this says it's model c this first one was model a this says model c i'm not i i believe this is the one that is also a uh, hundred and forty point five millimeters I've been using, yeah, these measure up the same. So these are spaced to the same. They're just shaped differently. I would recommend getting several of these uh, and making your own, at least two, and making your own section. Um, but I've been using these two on my Raven Diamond Art. It seems like at least they're 30 by 40, and they're 40 by 50 canvases are the only ones I've tested the rulers on so far, and they seem to measure 140.5 millimeters. And again, I'll talk to you guys about what I mean by that more when we flip him over and have like some, some actual visual situation to look at. The next size uh, ruler, is, as you can see, is a little smaller, you know, in, in shape of it. But it's again the same the same premise the same principle here. Uh, it does not have a measurement on here, so I'm going to use one that we do know the measurement on. This looks like it is 140.5 millimeter. Also, it's just if you want to work an even smaller section, you would use this. And then this one is it says model A. The other one didn't say a model number or anything on it so interesting all these usually have measurements and model numbers this one did not but it looks like it's 140.5 millimeter as well and would work in conjunction with these first two if you want to use multiple rulers to create bigger sections but um it's just too small for me i don't use it very often unless it's on a smaller diamond painting and then we have this one which is even a bit smaller than this so it so far what I'm saying and showing you yeah and this is 140.5 also it measures up with the one that we know is 140.5 millimeters but what, what I'm saying basically to you guys is like it depends on what size of section you want to work on as to which one of these rulers you would want to get the big chunk the long slender the shorter fatter you know it depends. This is a newer ruler to me. This one, this eye bar type ruler. This one's a newer ruler to me. I have not used it yet because I don't really know what the function purpose of this is supposed to be because 
it is pretty small. I mean, if you look, it's pretty small and it's got the eye bar right in the middle. So it breaks your section up. I was thinking perhaps they intend this to do the borders of the paintings, you know, like the, the, the edges, maybe I, you know, I'm not sure because if you use it, you know, plunk it down in your diamond painting and you, you fill in the spaces with your drills, then you've, when you pull it up, you've got this whole big row in the middle that that you have to manually do I somebody if you have an idea of what this could intended purpose what 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 this would be why would this be better than any one of these that I, I don't really know um so I can't really speak too much about this one because I haven't really found anything I want to use it on I I don't really see its purpose I am looking to see if it is, if it lines up. This seems to be a 140.5 as well. And that seems also to be the most common size of ruler. Um, and, and canvases, again, we'll talk about measurements in a minute, but canvases do vary in size. So uh, not every ruler will work on every canvas, but this 140.5 seems to be the most common I see work more universally on canvases. And then, oh, we're not done with the rounds. Then my new favorite love, you guys, this like plum flower design. I don't know, plus sign, I guess you could call it design. Um, this kind of is a game changer for me. This is my favorite ruler to use. It does almost like a checkerboard pattern. So basically, you know, you fill in the dots with your drills and when you peel it up, obviously there's going to be these lines, uh, other spaces to fill in drills manually, but that way you can uh, make a little adjustments if you need to, and you still get to the benefit of having straight drills placed with the ruler, but also getting some free hand time. Um, I just, this one's actually been fun. If I'm being honest, it's fun. And for some reason, using this ruler, I feel like my paintings come out looking better and more uniform than using these standard rulers. So uh, that is why this has become my newest love and most frequently used. And then you, we have the two sizes of the square drill rulers. Um, and, and as just with their counterparts it's the same thing as you know these these bigger ones um but f exclusively for square drills and it does also do like my new favorite love the kind of checkerboard-esque pattern so you fill in the blanks and it makes it puts the drills in plus signs and then you peel it up and there'll be um places that were covered previously by metal that you have to manually place the rest of the drills down. But for squares in particular, it's nice because it makes it snap into place and fit snugly. I, it's been helpful to me. Um, so there's, there's kind of your ruler breakdown. Are there more rulers, like ruler styles out there? I don't know, probably, maybe I haven't seen them. This is just, I grabbed every ruler I could find to try them all out, but be warned. They do come in different sizes. And if, especially if you buy on certain sites like Timu, where I got these, there will be some listings for rulers that will just, you put a ruler in your cart and you get what you get size wise like millimeter spacing wise, I should say, not size wise, but spacing wise. Um, some of the listings will let you choose the spacing. Like for instance, like I said, this is 140.5 millimeter spacing between the drill slots. You get to choose that or you could choose 141, 142, 139. So, uh, and, and now we'll talk about like why that's important. So you've seen the different types of rulers. These are considered round, but you can use them for square drills. At least I have before and it's been successful. I don't know if it'll work for every square drill painting ever created, but the ones that I've worked on, like Purge Mini, it has worked um, for rounds and squares. But 
like I said, these are intended for rounds, as is this one, and these are your square drill rulers. All right, we've seen the kinds. So let me take these off and we'll flip this painting over so that you can get an idea of, um, we'll talk about spacing, like this 140.5 millimeter junk that I'm talking about and um, why not every ruler works for every diamond painting because um, you will hear comments or, or, or see comments, read comments, whatever, that where people say, I've tried a ruler and it just doesn't work in my diamond painting. Probably because they didn't have the right size ruler. Okay, so how canvases work in my limited knowledge, I don't make canvases, I don't make rulers, I don't make diamond paintings beyond putting the drills on, you know, like actually doing the craft, but I don't create the craft, if you will. So my, my knowledge is limited to what I've been able to search and gather from conversations, from forums, from um, videos and such. So I urge you to do your own research if you have further questions or I wasn't clear on something because um, I really don't have any specialty knowledge other than I'm a lover of using rulers. But um, so diamond paintings, it, it, when you look at your diamond painting, you can see there's, you know, your symbols and letters and numbers, seven, 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 six, seven, seven. And you can see that they're spaced out to the naked eye it might look like all of your diamond paintings are the same. Like all of them have the numbers, you know, this are all space and symbols are all spaced out equally, but that's not the case. Not all diamond paintings are printed with the same spacing between each symbol slot. Some might be smashed closer together so you wouldn't have such big spaces between seven, 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 six, six, six. That would be squished closer together. Some diamond paintings will pull those spaces apart. It just depends on the manufacturer and the drill type, if they're using rounds or squares or what effect they want. Do they want gapping? You know, do they intend for gapping for there to be a space around the drill, like in between all the drills for the canvas color to come through between the drills or do they like a squares want them to lock into place where you don't see a lick of canvas underneath the drills once you're done um so spacing does play a part in that and as such they do make rulers with different measurements so um make your own wall art on tiktok has a video where he kind of mentions the spacing in between of diamond paintings, like the spacing of the drill slots and their measurements and wondering, you know, how far apart they are and stuff. And he was doing an experiment with his putty. Um, but while doing that experiment with his putty, he did talk about like how can't oh, not all canvases are printed with the same spacing to us. We might not with our naked eye see the difference, because it is literally millimeters of difference or half millimeters. That's why one of these rulers is 140.5 millimeters. What they're talking about there is the space, the spacing that they anticipate the drill slots to be is 140.5 millimeters. So um, that's, it's, it's literally, like I said, millimeters of difference into the naked eye, you may not perceive that. When you're looking at this canvas versus one right beside it, they could be totally different spacing of symbols and you not even realize it because it's such a minutia detail. But your ruler, your ruler will realize it. So um, let's see here. I have not checked out but let's see, like I said, these, these are the two I'm using on Raven Diamond Art and it works out really fine. And what, what, what you do, oh, I should show you, I'm sorry. What, what you want to do is you find these rulers have little gaps at the bottom before your drill spacing starts, before your drill placement holes start. Line those up with the edges of your canvas when you start a new canvas. So like right here, I'm lining up the edges so that 
when I lay this down, the, in theory, if it's the right measurement, the drill field should be clearly visible in the spacing slots, like the drill placement slots of the ruler. It happens to be that this one is, and I'll zoom you guys in so you can see. Uh, and I'm going to use this one, like I said, is a little bit warped, so I kind of have to play with it, and it's not as clearly visible. And I'm sure that light probably isn't helping too much. Sorry. But let's zoom in. Come with me. Shoop, 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 shoop. As far in close as I can get you guys. So you can see what I'm talking about. So we're going to take this. This is the uh, one of the rulers I showed you. It's the um, other 140.5 millimeter. And as you can see, I am just lining this up in the corner. And you'll know pretty quick if you try to do this and your drills do not line up all the way down, like the drill symbols do not show through the ruler perfectly in the center of each hole all the way down, you will learn, okay, this is not the right size. Like this one here, I, I thought, thought perhaps with this fatter one, it was oh, going to be okay, but it seems that um, maybe I was fooled by the warping because if you look down here, hopefully this is clear to you guys on, uh, cause I'm about as close as I, as I can get you. Um, and when you guys still have like a big picture view, but if you, if you follow, I'm, I'm completely lined up here. Everything is perfect all through here from the beginning. And then we start, start to get actually a little cattywampus. So I'm going to move the cellophane. I'll make it easier for you guys to see. And I can actually show you, um, cause I didn't mention, but these rulers are intended to stick directly onto your canvas. It won't hurt it. Uh, in theory, I mean, it shouldn't hurt it. Um, even if you put the, like the, this, border of the ruler on there it should not hurt it it should not remove the stick from your painting it won't peel up the symbols or anything you it's kind of like cover paper in that you don't have to worry about affixing it directly to your diamond painting that's what it's meant to do so i'm straightening this out i'm flattening it out my canvas is a little um wrinkled still even after like a month of flattening um but as you can see, we are perfectly lined up down here at the beginning. Hopefully I can get this to where you can see. I might have to manhandle this a little bit or scoot this up. Let me scoot it up so that we can get the right angle. Um, it's hard to see because it's black letters in the, in the light. Maybe now that the cellophane's gone, let me give you some light. This might help. But you can see through here, it's lined up to where the letters are perfectly visible in there. But as we get further down the ruler and the canvas, you can see that, uh-oh, this is not lining up. These are, the sevens here are a little off to the left side of the space. And then by the time you get all the way to the end, you can hardly see these ones at all. They're being covered by the ruler. What this tells me is this ruler is not the right spacing. 140.5 is not the right spacing. This canvas has bigger spacing. So what I would do, because I have a bunch of different rulers, is what I would do is start fit trying to fit other rulers on and see if I have one that met, that fits the measurement of the canvas. If you can't do that, you've got this one ruler and you you can't do anything else. You know, it's like this ruler or no ruler and you really want to use a ruler. We have a, a subby of love, which, um, you know, I, I wrote your name down in the notes on my phone, but guess what I'm filming on my phone. Guess what I can't do while I'm filming? Look at the notes on my phone. So I'm sorry that I forgot your name. Please don't hate me. I, If you've watched any of my videos, I'm a habitual name forgetter. And I'm sorry. I forget my daughter's name. That's why she has about 100 nicknames. Because, heck, I forget her name half the time. Um, 
but we had a subby suggest if you're going to use a ruler and all you have is like this one that lines up part of the way through and then starts going cattywampus right around here that you take a piece of cover paper like uh, this one that I have here that's also meant to stick on a canvas or um, I believe you can use Google it and double check or check other videos or creators. I think you can use parchment paper also, but um, slipping it under the part of the ruler. Oh, that's my fidget spinner. Sorry. <laughs> Slip it onto the canvas and cover that part that doesn't line up. Realign your ruler because you know that first part works, right? You know that first half of the ruler is lined up perfect. And I don't have it just right. My phone's kind of in the way. Uh, and it's making it difficult for me to kind of show you guys and still see in real life. But <laughs> what I'm doing is trying to line up the ruler over. Oh my gosh, way over here. <laughs> way over here. Line this ruler back up. Now that we've put our contact release paper down. There we go. And we have lined it up, and now this ruler becomes usable. Granted, it's a smaller section, but if you want to use a ruler and this is all you have, one that doesn't measure upright, doesn't fit the measurements of the canvas, what an amazing idea, Subby of Love. Thank you very much for this, because I, I wouldn't have thought of that. But you can use the ruler up into the point where it starts to go askew and protect the rest of the canvas with your cover paper. So you don't start getting misaligned over here where it gets cattywampus. Use it for what it's worth, guys. Use it. Use it. Um, but what we're going to do... Zoom you out a little bit now that you've kind of seen up close what I'm talking about. I'm going to see if I have a ruler that will actually fit on here. So let's try this one. The, the mystery one with a bunch of Chinese characters that I don't know how to read. So I don't know what it says. I just have to guess. We're going to line this up. Looking good so far. And this one seems to be fighting me a little bit there we go perfect okay so this one looks like it works perfect so we do have one I'm trying to zoom you in so you can see we do this light um we do have one that lines us up straight through you know straight straight through that is a shadow my light is casting it looks like it's a little off center there but i promise you the sevens are not too far to the right it just it's the sh the shadow from the ring light if i'm not mistaken yeah see it's right up in there and the angle of my camera but yeah this one i would feel comfortable using this and i would use the crap out of it to do this diamond painting so it like i said it's all about not every ruler fitting every canvas because canvas Drill spacing is different from company to company or even canvas to canvas at the same company sometimes. So, um, and here's that mystery ruler I was talking about that I just am not convinced. I just don't know what its intended purpose is exactly because of the big eye bar in it. Um, it looks like this one does line up though. This one would also work on this particular diamond painting maybe let me be real sure actually no this bottom section does line up but this top section is off a little bit the ones the the, the symbols and letters i'll show you are a little on the top part are off center see the the letters and numbers are going too far upward in the grid whereas down here they fit perfect so you could use the bottom half but not the top half, which is very strange. Maybe that's the purpose of this ruler. Maybe it's a couple millimeters different up here in spacing than down here. It doesn't appear like it, but I mean, it doesn't line up. But see, does it line up down here? Yeah. Interesting. You know, I don't, 
I'm not an expert. I don't know. I would feel comfortable using the bottom, you know, whichever way I put it on. It seems like the bottom matches up. The top didn't. It could be like with that first ruler where it starts to go askew in its measurement. So, eh, I, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know that so far this one would be the winner for this canvas. Um, and then we've got this medium length ruler. Let's line this up and see. And it looks like this one, I can't, let me see, I can't get, just, there we go. Yeah, this one would also work. So, as you can see, we'll zoop you down here, and you can see all, I'm trying to block some of the light, so the glare, <laughs> so you can actually see, see all the symbols come straight through the direct center of each of those pockets. I know it looks a little off over here, but it's the lighting and the shadow. I'm looking directly at it, and I promise you, these are centered. It just, I'm looking in the viewfinder, and they look, but I think it's because my camera is over here and the light and shadow and all that crap works together to undermine what I'm saying, but I promise, please believe me. Okay. Um, so this one is also would be a winner for this canvas. Now let's check the, the rulers of love, um, and acceptance. I love these rulers. <laughs> these are my new favorite. So where do I want to, I want to line up. And since this doesn't have like those line, those empty spaces in it, what I do is I just line up with this first row right here. I line up this first, these first row of dots. So let's see, it's a black one, oh, a red S. There we go. And I center the symbol right in there. And then I hold it and I try to lay it down as straight and flat as possible. Now I know this is looking like a lot, you guys like, oh my gosh, what a hard work for all this, blah, blah, blah. I'm going slow for you guys. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. And at first you're going to need to take your time and like really, you know, make sure it's all laying flat by, if you use rulers enough, like kind of like me, I just can I can close my eyes and slap it down and have it. Even, I mean, I use them so much that it's become like muscle memory <laughs> and I just kind of get it. So this one, my favorite new ruler would actually work as well. Yay. So see, that's perfectly aligned all the way through from start to finish. Now you might be like, well, Mishy, you're only showing us like the start and the beginning and whatever. What do you, you know, what after I, I do my first corner and line here, what about after that? Sorry, that was a bunch of me shuffling that stuff around. So what you would do is, you know, you put in all your drills, you fill in all, it's like, you know, fill in the blank, right? And then when you're done, I usually take a roller and I roll, you know, the little, they look like little hand steam rollers, little rubber roller, whatever, or you can use your hands and press, 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 whatever is good for you, you know, press them, press them down manually with your hands, you know, and, and make sure they are all snapped in place. Because when you use these rulers, you'll hear it go snap, snap snap as you push them in and if maybe one didn't snap into place and you're you're you know double checking before you pull your ruler up you'll hear them go pop 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 as, as they snap into place um and then what you want to do is you just take your ruler and you pull it up now if some drills come off with it take your tweezers or your diamond painting pen and just poke them down through back into place back into submission it's not the end of the world you know um and voila there you go. And then what you would do is if you want to work upward, you would line up the grooves in this ruler, like I'm showing you with my thumb, with the drills that are already there and aligned and place it. Oh, I got my fingernails stuck. Place it down in there. Place it down. Boop, boop, boop. There you go. When you're done, flatten it out. Make sure they're all in there. Remove it and just work your way up or you can work your way across it has grooves on the side too so you could work your way across and then over and up and over and up like however you want to do it now what i've been doing um because i do like to work on bigger sections okay um when i sit down to diamond paint i'm sitting down to diamond paint 
You know what I mean? Like, this isn't, I'm sitting down to diamond paint for a minute. Poke, poke, I'm done. No, this is, I'm diamond painting. I don't know what those voices were. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but let me just line up these rulers here, and I will show you what I do. If I could see through the glare, uh, the, my light is like throwing glare on the glue. And so it's like shining in my eyes, like a, a spotlight. Um, what I've been doing is I've been making, taking these two smaller rulers because I like them so much and stuff, but I like bigger sections and making one bigger section to work on like that. See? Um, that's just what I've been like, and that's been my jam. And what we'll do, dogs were barking, so I had to pause there. But, um, so what I thought I could do is, uh, do a few drill placements for you, with you, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to pick a bright color. Let's pick number five. It's a pretty bright color. It's like right here. I'll do a small set. Let's do eight. Um, We'll do number eight. So I'm going to pick eight. Let me get my, let me get a boat. Here we go. I'll toss them in here. Shake them about. Do the hokey pokey and all that stuff, right? <laughs> Sorry, the shake it all about is what got me to that point. Sorry. Um, I think I still have some putty in this pen. Do I? Yes. Okay. So there you go. You just pick up your your drill and you fill in the, the dots. Boink, 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 right? Now, mushy, I'm a multi-placer. So, F you and your um, single placing madness. Uh, you use a ruler. I can't possibly multi-place with a ruler. Oh, but yes, yes, you can. So, please take that rude F you back. Um... You can multi-place with a ruler. I will show you in a moment. I have not attempted multi-placing with this like flowery type ruler. Um, but I know that you can with the other gridded ones. So I can throw one of those on there and show you. This is not, this is not alien putty. This is wax. So pay no mind to this wax that's leaving residue. That's not alien putty. This. Oh, this is alien putty. This is not so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, here we go. Boom. There, there they are. And I don't know if you could hear it or not. I'm assuming you could, but they, they snapped in there. They're, they're in there. They're in place. So let me, let me grab another color and let's experiment together with this particular ruler and see if we can multi-place at least three place in one direction because, you know, it's a plus sign. So let's do, um, let's pick a number five. It's a nice bright color. And I'm going to struggle with open. Whoa. Okay. We're, we picked a whole bunch of number five. <laughs> okay. Let's. Let's tap ourselves out some number five here. And look, we have three. Um, and we're just going to pick up our three. Okay. See, we've got three. And let's find out. We're going to line it up just like you would. Yeah. You can multi-place. At least in this one, up to three. I was doing um, six placers. That's about all I was comfortable attempting with the gridded one. There. That one didn't want to go in there so easily, but there we go. I mean, yeah, you can totally multi-place with rulers. Even if you're new to multi-placing or like you're a single placer and you're not like super excited about multi-placing, but maybe, um, you know, you can start small like this and do a little three-placer in these little flower grid. See? Um, and if it doesn't line up right, all you gotta do is Boop. Listen. Snaps in place. So um, you know that it's it's in there. And we'll do one more just for good measure. See? Just like that. If you're not happy... Oh, sorry. I wobbled the camera. If you're not happy or you think it's not fully in there, there you go. 
you just fix it. Then you just single place the other two missing from the... Guys, we're going to sit here and do a whole whip and chat. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I won't do that to you. I just really want to um, impart to you my limited knowledge of rulers and hopefully answer some of the questions. Um, let you guys see some of this stuff in action. You know, I'll zoom you in so you can like see, see. Uh, I can't really diamond paint now because I can't get it um, under my camera, but... I can single place. We can do that. Here you go. Just like that. It works just fine. So now let me zoom you back out so that I have some space. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm just going to pour the drills back in here because I'm not trying to work on this right now. Sundown just got home and we've got to do a little thing that we like to call dinner. Um, so I got to wrap this up, but I do want to sh finish showing you about the rulers. So we did some here and we did some here. And when you're done, I ideally, I don't have one of those little steamroller things in here right now. So I'm just going to have to trust, but ideally I would roll them down, but you peel it up and there you go. You guys right there, all is well in the land. The drills have stayed. You'll want to hold on to your canvas on one end, pull up an end of the ruler, and peel it on up. And the ruler still has its shape. It's fine. Uh, it didn't warp it or anything. Um, and the canvas still sticky, as you can see. <laughs> Grabbed my finger. And, you know, there, there your drills are. They stayed. They're there. They're stuck. That's great. Yay! Right? So, um... I'm happy to be able to use it. Now, again, these are my personal favorite rulers, but like I said, caution, not every ruler will, will work on every diamond painting. These rulers are not the right spatial measurement to work on, for instance, Raven Diamond Art. And I mentioned that one particular because we have been going over a lot of their stuff in our on our channel recently and I know a lot of people have ordered from them and are excited and if you're one of them and you're like I want a new ruler to go with my new raven diamond painting this is not the one the the, the these are not the ones um what you would want to get is the 140.5 millimeter spaced ruler which are uh these that I have um so when you're shopping just be careful that you get the 140 0.5 millimeter ruler that's worked for me it should work for you if it does not that I'm sorry that's not my fault that's what's working for me and that's all I can tell you is that it will work for me you need to find out if it will work for you I don't want to be responsible for you know you getting something because I told you to or something and then it doesn't work I'm just these this I'm relaying my experience of you know what rulers have been working for me on what canvases so there's that. And as a final, just, you know, so I can say I showed you, we'll use one of these rulers. And it, I don't think that, I think this is the one that didn't line up all the way. And see, it goes right over the one there. I forgot I put drills there already and it goes, they fit right in, um, but it doesn't line up on this end. So only the first, like, I don't know, two thirds of this ruler would work with this one and that's fine. If that's what you got, use that contact paper like I showed you in the beginning to cover the part that's misaligned and use the part that is aligned. No big deal. Um, and let's do a bright color. Let's do a number, let's do a number six. Just so I can show you that you can multi-place with this type of ruler as well, not just the, the flowery one. Um, so let me grab, I'm not the best multi-placer, which is why I single place and use rulers. And I'll talk about that there at the end too, of why you might want to use a ruler uh, and why I use a ruler. But um, yeah. All right. So yeah, oh, I didn't get that one stuck in there. It liked the putty so much. There we go. So we got it in there. I didn't hear the click, so I'm just going to go back through there was two that didn't click in and I clicked them in and all was right in the world so you can multi-place with a ruler as well um I 
think that I have covered like a lot of what I've seen question wise and people trying to dispel the use of room, the use of rumors, rulers. Um, I think I've done a pretty good job as far as far as I can in like, you can't use rulers, you know, if they don't, yes, you can use the cover paper to cover up the part that doesn't line up and use the part that does. If that's the ruler you got, use it for what it's worth. Um, if you have the means, buy a different size, buy a different shape, but they're, they're not very expensive. Like I said, I bought mine on Timu and they're like a dollar to $2 a piece. I think this big POS this one I would probably avoid if, unless you're a glutton for punishment or you just want to kind of throw money away. Cause I think these were like $5 and they're so flimsy and it came warped from shipping. Like it got bent with the, uh, with the other things in my package and it's already like ripped over here. Um, it's an investment and you do what you want with your money, but I would rather get a couple of these and just make, take two of these and make one big section versus you know, this flimsy POS, but do what you want. It's your money. Um, but if you can, if you can afford it, I, what I would do was buy a couple, one, at least one or a couple, if you can afford it of every ruler, um, shape and size. And that way, no matter what diamond painting you're working on, you are likely to have a ruler that is going to work for you and fit your diamond painting and your style and what you're enjoying doing. Like I said, for anybody who's curious, these, these flowery ones, these like round plus sign flower shaped ones, my favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite. And don't forget the tips and tricks. If you have a ruler that doesn't line up, use, I already put it away. Oh, here's one. Use your piece of cover paper Set it down where it's, where you notice it starts misaligning. Then put your ruler down and use it where it does align, you know. And then when you're done, peel it up. Move your paper over to where it starts misaligning again. And use your ruler as much as, as you can for alignment. You do. We make things work. We're crafters, right? We, we figure it out. Um, find, you know, ways to make what you want to work work. But yeah, you can. I've shown you um, that not every ruler fits every canvas, and I kind of did my best to explain why, though I'm not the best explainer. Uh, but I tried, and I showed you the different styles, sizes, measurements of rulers, um, and like that you can multi-place and you can single place with both kinds of rulers. The only um, other thing I wanted to tell you guys. Because there will be, I know you're out there, people. There will be people that will say rulers, you know, mess up your painting. I mean, look at that. Perfectly placed and spaced, you guys. How is that messing anything up? Stop. Um, there will be some people that were like, that are like, well, I can do totally fine freehand and it looks just as good. Okay. That's really cool. That's you. Um, the reason why I use a ruler, if anyone's curious, and it, and some of you might be able to relate, is because I have some medical conditions that affect my mobility. They affect my sense of, of uh, I was going to say taste, my sense of touch. Um, they affect my nervous system. And uh, you know, I have MS. Uh, and I've had two TIAs. And I do have a, a tumor on my brain. And so um, all of that combined, sometimes my hands get real shaky and it's hard for me to accurately place. You know, imagine trying to diamond paint when your hand feels like it's so weak or it's numb in parts and you can't feel it. Or this pen feels like it's made of 500 pound steel and concrete ball. And you're like trying just with every fiber of your being even to lift the pen but you still want to enjoy your craft, but like you're trying to put this down and you're like, uh, you know, uh, you, you can't like, you can't take your time and be precise and put it in the right spot. Sometimes there are some things that make it so that some of us need help. And this, these rulers help me. That is why I use them. They help 
me. They help me physically. And honestly, they help me mentally too, because I'm a little, um, I have a, I have like a little OCD tendencies. So if things are not perfectly in line or in place, it drives me absolutely batshit crazy. And so these rulers help me. Oh, I got these a little off. See, I even just noticed that now, but, um, you can just shove them up into place. Beep, 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 beep. It's because I was in a hurry. There you go. Perfect. But, um, you know, these rulers help me physically make sure that I get a, the, the be the beads, the drills in the right spot. I hear it click when I put it down, it helps shift it into place. It kind of helps guide it. So if my hand is weak that day, or I am having some numbness or a shaky, or my, vi I'm having vision, a little bit of vision issue. Um, it helps me make sure I'm putting the drills in the right place and they're snapping into place. So I know that they're, they're there. And mentally it helps me because I know that if I'm using a ruler, my lines are going to be perfect. My spacing is going to be perfect. Um, I'm not going to have some, you know, a drill here and the next one up is here and over here. And, and I'm not going to have that weird gapping and snaking and, but, but you guys, this is our craft and our art. We do it the way we want to do it. We do it what makes us happy. If it makes you happy to um, go by hand, you can do it, you know, whether it's perfect or not. You go freehand and that's how you enjoy it and you enjoy how it turns out. Then you do that. Uh, more power to you. I, I, I applaud you for, for having the patience for that and the ability to do that. But if you're someone that has a handicap of some kind... Um, whether it's, you know, maybe a little bit, some visual, uh, handicaps, some physical handicaps, maybe you got a little touch of that OCD, need things to be in order like me handicap, <laughs> then a ruler might be for you. So, um, I really implore you to consider using a ruler if you think it could help you in one of those ways, or if you just want to, if you don't like rulers, you're not a ruler user. That's Okay then you're not. And, and this video wasn't for you. Um, what I would like to leave you guys with as a side note, because I've seen some pretty nasty comments in other places on other videos or in other forums about, um, you know, people who use rulers versus don't. I would like to implore you, my dear viewers, please no hate. You, you have an opinion and you can state your opinion. It's a free country. Comment below. You like rulers, you don't. You're convinced, you're not convinced, you want to use them, you don't. But please, ruler users, do not bash non-ruler users and vice versa. I really, really don't want to see my comment section turn into a, you know, battleground over rulers. You know what I mean? We're, we're an accepting, loving community here and the way you do your craft is the way you do your craft and then we accept it, right? Right. Okay. That's all I really wanted to say, you guys. Um, I hope that the people that were interested in a ruler video, I hope this helped you. If you have any other questions, you can ask and I can do my best to either answer it if I know it or help you find an answer if I don't know it. And I guess with that, that's all I had. Now it's time for dinner. All right, guys. Naughty night. Bye.